Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, we will learn to test the Rust APIs using Playwright MCP server and Cloud. So let's begin. First, let's understand a model MCP. So what is MCP? MCP is basically a model contest protocol and it's an open protocol that standardizes how application provide the context to the LM. So basically, MCP provides a standardized way to connect AI models to a different data sources and tools. So in our previous tutorial, we learned about the MCP Playwright server. So if you go to the browser over here and search for Playwright MCP server, so basically in our previous tutorial, we use this official Playwright server, MCP server. So if, if I open this one, and for this particular tutorial, I'll be using this this one, and this is by Karthik. So let me go here, and if I scroll down this official Playwright MCP server. So you need to go down here and scroll and go to this particular area. So here you see that we have these particular testing things like we can go to this browser tab list. So these are basically tools, right? So here we have a browser snapshot, we have browser click, browser drag and drop, but we don't have any tool to test the REST APIs. In contrast, the playwright MCP server by the Karthik. So if you go to this one, this would execute automation MCP dash playwright. So if you scroll down here, so you need to go to scroll down here and you need to open the link from here. Just open this link from here. And MCP Playwright Server Tutorial, click on this one. And here, what we need to do is that we need to have a configuration inside the cloud. So if you don't have the cloud desktop, you need to go to the cloud website and download the cloud desktop. You need to sign up and then sign in with your account. Now, once you have done that one, so you need to come here and basically what you need to do is that you need to copy the configuration. So this is, you see the cloud desktop configuration. You need to copy this one and open the cloud app. So this is a desktop app. And here into the file, go to the settings here. And here, go to the developer. So this is the official playwright one. And right now, what we need to do is that we need to configure the Playwright MCP server by the Karthik. So click on edit config and open this configuration file and paste this configuration over here. Save this one, close this one, and now close this one, exit this one from here, and we need to open the Claude again. Okay, so Claude desktop app. So once you open this one, uh, what we need to do is that we need to start prompting things, right? So what happens here is that simply we need to provide a prompt in order to test the REST APIs. But before that, what I need to show you is that go to this uh, hamburger, go to file, go to settings, and then we need to go to developer. And here you see that this uh, playwright server is up and running. Okay, again, this is by Karthik Execute Automation. And go back here and go to new conversation. And here we have this particular search and tools. So basically, once you have configured the MCP server, you need to click on this one. And here you see that we have this playwright over here. and you see some 32 number over here. So click on this one. So basically, these all are the tools when you are working with the cloud. So cloud can utilize these tools for the automation purposes. Now, if you scroll down over here, so you see that we have playwright get, playwright post, port, patch, delete. So basically, these tools are relative to the REST APIs. Okay. Now, uh, for this particular tutorial, I will be using this uh, particular JSON APIs, JSON placeholder APIs. And from here, you scroll down. 
so we have this post comment so there's so many APIs available you can utilize any of these ones from here and let me open the postman over here so in postman I have created a collection and in the get so basically here we need to fetch the post slash one so one is basically a id okay and if i so basically we are fetching the post having the id one okay so having the id one we have this result okay and this api is working absolutely fine now we have also this post call here as sample and here in the body we need to provide the user id so basically which user will do this particular post for example if you are posting something on facebook so basically you your post needs to be linked with the user who are actually posting that one so here the user one is you know creating this post over here so if i hit send over here so you see that the post has been created successfully and this is a response over here now what i will say simply go to this get call so copy this one from here and go to the plot and here i'll say perform get operation on api here is a url and in response ensure that so we need some verifications for this particular api so ensure that um, the status code is 200 okay this is the first thing we need to do show that the status code is 200 and in response body we have in response body we have this user id with the value one okay we have already having value equals to having value equals to one now just uh, press enter so what it will do is that actually it will do a action and you see that so basically it's using the playwright get so because it's a get call now here you see that the perfect get operation was successful here's what i found status code verification the api return status code 200 as expected the response contains user id equals to one which matches the expected value of one so complete response data is this this is so this is the complete response data and this is the details right and if you click on the, uh, this one and you scroll down so you see that this is a get request basically and the response we are getting 200 and this is a complete response we are getting from this particular api now this is a get operation but in case of the post what we will do is that okay so what i'll do i'll copy this prompt over here paste it here instead of get i'll say perform post operational api and the api is basically this one so copy this one from here go back to the plot and here i need to change this one and here i need to provide the post url and in the resource uh ensure that the status is 201 and response when we have so before response uh body we need to share the request body okay so what i'll do is that simply go here i'll copy uh, this request body from here and go back to the plot and perform post operation on the api here is a url and here's a url and request body is this one and in response 
So in this once, uh, ensure that we have a stress code 201 and in the response body we have. So if I go here, in the response body we have uh, like title, title having a value foo because we are sending this one from here. So let me change, like I say testing, and I say testing funder by Zishan Asker. Okay, just uh, send on this one, and you see that. This is the title and this is the body we are getting in the response. Okay, so we say that in response we will be having a title and the value of title should be testing. Okay, and here uh, I will go back and here and as far as body we have title having a value equals to testing. Just go here and I'll provide the value over here. And now just press enter. So now what it will do is that it will make a post operation on the API. And here you see that this time it's using the playwright post tool. Okay. So allow this one and you see that it's requesting for this one. And the post operation was completed. Here's the verification results. And okay, so basically the verification got failed because in the in the request body we were sending the title as a who and in the response we were getting that one okay so in actually the api is not working as expected you will see that response verification failed so basically this verification actually got failed over here and the company's data response is this one instead of score was success because we were getting 201 response body title is full not the testing and that's failed so your test case got failed here so now this was a simple operation because uh, we were performing an action like for example hitting a single api but what you can do is that you can change the api as well so api chaining means that extracting a value from one api response and passing that to another api okay so if i talk about these particular apis here and after this hitting this one okay this is the body and this is the response we are getting and from getting, uh, from this response, extract this value, save th this into a variable, and utilize this in a, this particular over here. Okay? Or maybe here. So basically, the idea for it is that, you know, extracting a value from one API and passing that to another. So you can also chain the APIs through this MCP Playwright server. So right now, for example, this particular API has one. So the one is basically ID for the comment or the post, not for the user. The user ID is one. So user one actually has added a first comment over here. Okay. So there's no such thing, but what I'll do is that let me extract a value from uh, one API and just, you know, save it into a variable and let me show you that. Okay. But you can perform uh, end to end. Like chaining a API, extracting a value, saving that value into a variable, passing that into the subsequent multiple API request. Okay. So, okay. So, from this one, extract the body or, yep, extract the body. So, we go here and this is already performing the post operation from here. And here, I will go here added this one and inside the body so I will say testing rest API chaining okay so this is the text okay so now let's see what happens here so it performs the post operation over here and it was successful and obviously the response doesn't contain this one because the body is having different or title is having different options okay now what i will do is that from above api response extract a value so in the response uh, extract a value of a body Okay, so instead of value from body, 
um, body and see if that in a variable variable name should be response body and print that print that value okay okay now uh, simply press enter over here and see what happens so I'll extract the value from the body fields of the page response and save it to the variable called response body and then print it so just using the right evaluate so always allow so it's extracting the value and so based on the post API response we received earlier, here's the extraction. So here is the variable it created called response body and this was the value. Right? Now we are doing a chaining of the APIs. You need to give an other prompt. Okay, once you have this extracted value, pass this variable into the subsequent API request. Okay. So that's how you can work with the API testing. And even right here. Um, what I can say generate automation a script from above so it will generate the script as well and we can utilize that in our famous so you don't need to write anything from scratch so everything is done using the playwright mcp server which is uh, developed by the Karthik and the Claude itself you see that everything is done you just need to copy and paste and what you need to do is that you need to modify as per your frameworks but most of the work has been done using the spirit mcp server and the cloud. Mm -hmm.